I arrived in Shears last night and it's a tiny little village in the east end of uh, Switzerland. And you might be thinking, what am I doing in a tiny little village that has not really a lot of interest? Well, it's because my eight or nine times great-grandfather and grandmother, they came from here. Or actually, it's a small village up Montagna is where they lived and Fayunia. And I'm gonna try and see if I can visit those uh, villages today and during the next few days and I'm just gonna explore the area and get a sense of what this area that my family comes from and what it's like. I hope it'll be fun to explore this area and visit these sites and glad that you're joining me on this journey. Christian Pichi and his wife Magdalena Maya born in 1611. They were married in this church that I'm sitting at right now. And they were buried here. It is so steep to get up to Montaigne. The roads are just like wee, 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 wee. And there are these small pedestrian shortcuts. But it's so steep, look at it. Crazy, man. Up, 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 All the way up here. I can really understand why they wouldn't want to come down from the mountain every, every day. They would probably only make it down for weddings and maybe on Sundays for church. <laughs> yeah. Look what I found. This is a pretty cool place. Montaigne, this the village is pretty small. I don't think there'll be more than maximum 10 houses here. It's still funny to think that on this hill and one of these barns could have belonged to someone in my family. It's nice to get a historical perspective, I think. Well, it's definitely still a farming community because there is a lot of barns and a lot of them are really old. Well, this house up here is from 1890, so it's still pretty new, but it's pretty cool. I noticed that a lot of the buildings, they have um, like, not Bible verses, but something like uh, God blesses the people who lived in this house and Un Sigen Himmelführen. Something about going to heaven. But it seemed that there's a really strong sense of Christianity and religion here, which is pretty cool. This view is really insane, and this village is everything that I hoped it would be. There's a picket fence that's fallen over, but you can just tell that by the roses and the trees and everything that it has been really, really pretty a few years ago. I don't know for sure if my um, family lived in one of those particular houses or on one of those spots. But as I understand it in Switzerland, when you go back, people lived in the villages and then they had the fields around them and the barns on the, on the plots of land. But they didn't really live out on the land, they lived together. So I think it's most likely that they would have lived in that small community up there, which is pretty great. I've been trying to get in contact with some of the people in these houses uh, who are still living here and I talked to one guy and he said that uh, his family had owned the house and built their house around um, the 1890s and that a lot of the buildings or most buildings in Montaigne were built in that same time period except this one house which is a log house and it looks older I have no way of knowing but it just looks older My nine times great-grandfather, 
and grandmother. They had nine children and only four of them, as I can see, got married or survived, except for the two oldest ones who migrated to Germany. So it would make sense if that branch of the ancestors on my side it just kind of died out pretty soon after that because yeah they had nine children and only two might have survived and yeah so the family name it doesn't really seem that there's anyone around here called that anymore I don't think I'm gonna find out anything more about this whole village I might come up here again take the bus just to explore it some more and just get a real sense of the place but from now it's really idyllic it's pretty they have roses and gardens and very old buildings and barns more barns than houses we always have new adventures coming up so don't forget to subscribe to join us and see where we're heading next